Aloha. Okay, it's me, Lisa, Transcendence Brown. And this video is going to be on relationship. Oh, what fun. There's a lot of stuff coming up with relationships uh, for many uh, now. As they start to hold more light um, in body, higher light frequencies, relationships change a lot. Um, how we have our relationships. Um, very different here. The changing of our masculine energy, our feminine energy, and where we function from, our exchanges from others and the purposes that they serve. A lot of times when couples come together, what brings them together is what they perceive as a common dream, what they um, think uh, they're, that they're looking for, and then along the way, when things start to change, a lot of couples came together to serve the energy of lack, to fulfill something within themselves, and they needed another in order to assist them on the journey to becoming whole and complete again within themselves. The embodiment of light, it means to become so whole that you do not need another anymore. Many are starting to ascend in the physical, embody higher light frequencies, relationships, the relationships. I know I've got a drag on this video, I'm working on it. Seems to be a common thing. Our relationships change. As we expand in consciousness, others are in our field. And we are affected. Um, in the beginning, we were affected inside, vibrationally. They triggered us. Um, we came to understand the reason for that. A lot of us uh, categorized ourselves as empathic, um, which just means that we're feeling, we're able to be triggered by somebody else. Now, in the beginning, when we start figuring out that we're empaths, and then we look at the other as we're feeling their stuff. We do not understand that we're feeling their stuff because that's a frequency within us that we have yet to understand, feel within ourself, um, tune that frequency back to perfection, back to love within ourself, and that we can only feel their stuff if it's our frequency. They're triggering our frequencies. From within them they don't have to speak they just have to feel we're sensory beings we feel everything here in the beginning if you will others show us what's within us and we use others to see they help us with our vision here we use others to clear we allow them consciously to trigger us to help us bring it up but many are coming to a place now where they've transcended a lot of that they're coming to find that they're more important, their purpose, their role, what they need to do now. And to be with that other person is now a compromise for them. And this is a hard place to be because we don't like things to change. We made commitments. We promise things. We feel obligation. Um, we, we create the feeling of guilty. Because we now, it's not about honoring them or a promise. It's about honoring ourselves, and they come into conflict. And every one of us that stayed in a relationship along the way and compromised came to learn this. We came to understand the purpose that it served. And that any time that we do something out of guilt, shame, blame, obligation, then we are not being true to ourselves, and we are feeding the energy of lack within another based upon guilt or blame or lack within ourselves. And we have to ask the question, why are we doing that? Why would we do that? This is, it, it's, it's a hard place to balance until we understand. And it's not so hard anymore, but it does mean coming from complete honor from within. 
It means seeing ourself and seeing the other and seeing our sacred contracts together here. It means understanding what we're here to do. It means seeing many things. Lack is not the energy that we serve anymore. Love is love for us. Respect is respect for ourself. Love for them, respect for them. Respecting each's journey is exactly as we chose to do it here. Now, where two can come together and consciously work together in union as higher self aspects, in union to contribute, to support, to not feed lack. To consciously make decisions where all things are sacred. And this is what happens too. If one finds things sacred, sees things as sacred, experiences everything as sacred and another does not, you've got a huge conflict going on. And so everything to us is sacred. We are sacred beings. We come from and we are love. We share our light. We don't hide it. We used to. But as we become pure again, we stop hiding. We open up. We don't need protecting. Many are coming to find that their partners, that they don't want to sleep in the same room. They don't want to sleep in the same bed because the field of their partner is now interfering with their field. They don't have enough space to expand. Um, some are conscious of this and both partners are very aware and they make different arrangements where one partner is not awake or conscious yet. They're going to take it personal as about them. You have many couples that don't understand this. When your field expands, anybody in your field that doesn't operate at that same frequency is going to create an interference. This is your field. This is you becoming the universe. This is your field of super consciousness. When you go to sleep, your energy expands. We are building our power. Anything around us interferes with that. Now... I didn't understand for a long time that during my relationships, I did not like to sleep with anybody next to me much of the time. I actually went out on the couch or I went in the other room. I made myself my own bedroom. I kept it a lot of the times. Now, my partners didn't like it much. And there were times that I wanted to be with them. And I would actually go in the room. But the rest of the time, I had my space. This is what we do. Where you have two fields that merge into one consciousness as two beings of light, that's a completely different thing. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. And it isn't about a human exchange anymore. It's two souls, two light bodies merging. And it is extremely powerful. And I have had these experiences as well. It has absolutely nothing to do with sex, which is what a lot of people are struggling with now. They're not understanding why all of a sudden they have no desire for that. As we activate in light, our understandings, our identities, the way we function is completely different. Now, a lot of people use others in order to work through their stuff. I had a relationship that I actually was able to use the relationship to work through a lot of my own lack. I did it consciously. Uh, my partner at the time um, did it consciously as well um, until the time that it was time for the exchange to be marked paid in full, the soul contract. We changed our contracts many times. I've done this with different relationships. The difference is light partnerships, twin flames. All of these uh, 
partnerships that we have. You have the human that seeks a soulmate to fill a place, something to fulfill them. I don't do those. That was an old human game we played. Soulmates, uh, you have life mates, people that you spend your life with, and then you have um, regular human experiences um, that you're really working a whole lot of stuff out and clearing, um, where you're basically completely unconscious, and I had those two. You have the heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection that transcends anything in the physical here. Those are beyond magnificent. And those are sacred. And those are completely different. We have twin flames, and I've had this experience um, many times, actually. Uh, One, two, three. Three... uh, once where we came together in order to serve a huge purpose and get in opening each other up from a place of love and so that we could expand and each time served its purpose. And then um, it's time to move on when, when we've utilized those experiences to the fullest capacity that we can. Now, I don't judge. Uh, that's not what we're here to do. Um, I have my way of categorizing things for understanding them, and then we throw the categories out. We throw the labels out. We don't really care. Technically, two two beings that come together from a place of love and light where everything is sacred. It doesn't matter how they do their journey. It's totally up to them. For me, all things are sacred. And two light beings come together. It means that we are in service uh, first, and everything supports that. And that is the very highest capacity the two can come together is through the merging of consciousness. The amplification that occurs is is beyond exquisite and massively huge. Now this can occur with one not being as awake and aware and conscious as another. And I had this experience too. This is how I know these things. You've got to do them. <laughs> we don't put labels on things. We use the labels to understand and we throw them away. We don't care. Every person in our physical reality is there to show us something. What they show us is up to us. They'll show us something about us. They'll be there either to support us and assist us. We'll be there to support them and assist them. They'll be there to trigger us, activate us. Uh, We'll be there to trigger or activate them. We do this entire thing from a place of awareness, consciousness, and love. Um, How we do the journey is totally up to us. There are times that we don't want to be around each other um, because... We are expanding really huge, and we need the space. And when we're going through a light body tuning process, anything in our field is a disruption. And so if you find yourself experiencing some of these things, understand that they are a part of the process. And it's up to you to understand them. Don't create an emotion or a judgment around your experience, see it, understand it, and, and utilize everything in your reality. Um, it, it's an amazing gift to have all of these experiences in order to be able to see. Uh, where we're human, we'll judge it, and we'll get all caught up in the story, and, and we'll, we'll completely mess it up. So I don't know if I covered everything that I wanted to do. But I have a lot of other videos to do, and I hope that this will help. I had a um, session the other day that asked me to talk a little bit about this. Uh, This seems to be a theme this week, or this this year, or whatever the case may be, with a lot of um, souls, light beings coming together, and, and owning their power and becoming very powerful beings again yet not understanding how our fields work and and holding sacred respect, sacred love, purity, and simplicity 
a relationship between two is supposed to be pure. It is supposed to be simple. It is supposed to be love. It is supposed to be light, honor, respect, all of these things. And it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to have a whole lot of fun. So, I love you. And we'll come back and do some more videos. But I hope this helps you guys. I love you. Love you, love, love you so very much. We're in a powerful, amazing time. So, utilize everything. Uh, these are gifts. Absolutely every experience is a gift. Absolutely everything that occurs is a gift. Everything, if you can see it. Otherwise, you miss the point. I love you.